my name is Tom Honig. Uh, I think you've seen many of our other videos for the iPad Vibration Analyzer. Uh, we have a new app today specifically for calibration or certification of motors, spindles, pumps. Uh, we did this especially for people out in the field that have to certify a motor both for velocity and acceleration. And we've also done it for motor shops, pump shops, spindle repair companies, anybody that has to certify by ISO specification both velocity and acceleration any motor uh, going out after a repair, rebuild, or fix. So I'd like to get right into it. The name of it is called iVibrometer. I'm going to open it up real quick and you'll see we keep things in a very simple red, yellow, green, which are all following ISO specifications. And when I open the app, you see I have all the commonly known positions for vibration analysis, H1, V1, H2, V2, A1, um, in a list. And both acceleration and velocity are next to it, so we can do a report all on one page. So let's just go to a motor, because I have a motor behind me. I'll click on motor, and you can see it shows a beautiful picture of the motor with all the different positions of the motor up there. V1, H1, H2, V2, A1. Now, uh, my velocity and acceleration is switched here. So let's go turn on this motor real quickly, and we'll do a quick certification of this motor, which I actually might be out of specification and as you can see it's showing specification because it's out of balance but simply all I have to do if my I'm in the H1 position there all I have to do is tap on it and it instantly puts that value of 0.16 inches per second into the field and then when I go to acceleration it puts the G's value right below so now I'm done with that point I can simply move to the next point with my accelerometer and go to the V2 position and hit that and then put my G's selection in overall and now I can put my velocity in by switching to velocity and tapping the same point and you can see it's giving me a my ISO grade scale all at the same time now we're only for this video I'm only going to do those two points and get right into the reporting so we hit the hold button so we freeze that and that will become part of our report and we switch to the report function and now we've quickly gone to the report function which shows a nice map of where we are. We're in Manchester, New Hampshire, very close to Lake Massabesic. We can also tap in the field to take a photo of our motor, which we'll quickly do that. So we have a record of the point in which we took our readings. And that will become part of the report as well. Any notes, which I'll just put in test. And that will be done. And I can do my machine ID, which I'll put test in there also. Location test. And for staff name, I'll put my name Tom in. So all that data is in there. And now if I want to view my report real quickly, what it's going to look like on the other end, I can quickly hit view report. And you can see I have all my different uh, positions. They're all filled in with their proper overall inches per second in G's. The date, my name, any notes I put in there, my signature which also I'll get back to how that's done, the map of where I took it, and the picture of where, and I can email that directly from here, right from the point that I certified that motor at. So I'll quickly close report and show you how the signature function works. It's simply a little signature icon. I can pop it up and just quickly sign my name with my finger or a stencil, and it's now part of the report. Well, this is our full tutorial on this.